Hello everybody, it's Nick Devil Hunter Will and welcome <laughs> Nick Devil Hunter and welcome back to another Jurassic World tour unboxing. For for some of you guys that don't follow my Twitter, I've already made a tweet about this on my Twitter, posted a picture of it. It is the um is it the stump and escape T Rex that I have uh, posted a picture on Twitter and I'm pretty sure most of you guys I'm pretty sure some of you guys know what I'm talking about. Since you guys follow me, and if you go, if you don't know what it looks like, then go check it out. It's Nick Devil Hundred. There it is. My YouTube. I mean, my bad. My not my, not my YouTube. My bad. My Twitter. But anyways, welcome back to another uh, tour review, and this time we are doing the um this. Well, I already took the toy out, but I I. But here's the thing. I wanted to do an unboxing and review video, but now I can only just do a review because, like, man, I was, I already recorded uh, yesterday, I tried doing it yesterday, and I kept messing up, and then I'm like, oh, it's too late, I might as well just review it, I already opened it up, so, yeah, but anyway, here's the packaging, it looks really cool, it's really big, and it's the Stomp and Escape Tyrannosaurus Rex. There it is, two reps. And so just call this again Netflix right there. So the Netflix one way. It's not important. And then it comes with something. Now let's look on the back. This is what it looks like on the back of the box. It says stomping action. This toy can stomp. And then if you look right there, it says the Scorpius Rex. There's a Scorpius Rex. There's a Dino Escape Scorpius Rex. Dino Escape feature, that's what it is. I don't know what line is part. Maybe it's also part of the same line that this T-Rex is part of. I don't know. And you can, if you want to unlock the dinosaur in this app, you can download this app right here called Jurassic World Facts app. You can get that app and you can get, you can get these toys. You can scan the codes on the foot and then you can unlock them. Like I said in the last one, I think. <clears throat> And, um, yeah, that's, and then there's a car tourist, and there's dealers on the box, it's like Dino Escape. <clears throat> but anyway, that's like everything that I gotta say about the box. Nothing goes much. <clears throat> okay, now let's get on to the review. Let's talk about the toy. Here he is. Here is the keyword. Again, I already opened him. He looks so, so nicely detailed and textured he looks really really good i highly highly recommend you getting him he is super cool and um he looks so good i really like how they put the black around his eyes and stuff like that it looks pretty cool so it really i think that's what he has in this tv show that's what he has oh i say my favorite i think i say one of my favorite things about this about this figure is that the teeth look so on point. It looks sharp. It looks highly fitting for him. It just looks great. I really love. I really love. But what I don't like, I mean, I don't really care for this. But Mattel, they do these things to their figures where the teeth to the dinosaur figures, they're not even plastic. They're rubber. They're not. They're not molded or anything. Because with the Carnotaurus and the Carnotaurus, I thought their teeth was plastic. Because I really didn't really, I, but here's the thing, at that time I really didn't pay attention to what material made us, what what was it made of, and um, I thought it was plastic for some reason because at first it felt hard, but then when you bend your finger on it, it feels, you can like fit, you can feel it bend in, so yeah, I assumed that it was rubber, and it was rubber, <clears throat> and um. I gotta say, I, I can. There's a lot of good things I can say about this about this uh, dinosaur figure. Okay, here he is. This is the Jurassic the Mattel Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Stomp and Escape Tyrannosaurus Rex with the Dino Escape feature. Now you guys might be saying, "Hey Nick, what is Dino Escape?" Well, this is what it is. Dino Escape is a feature into the Jurassic World toy series. First, there's the Primal Attack feature, which I showed you with the Crylophosaurus and the Ceratops, the last reviews. And now you got the Dino Scape feature. And if you think that's all, there's a lot more features with other toys out there, but I keep forgetting the names of them. 
so far there's so far the ones that I keep remembering there's um primal attack um yeah primal attack uh dino escape and then there's war attack and then there's pack attack and then there's some other ones no there's no is it war no there's another line called war of wars war of wars something like that and then there's another one line called um I think I think it's an extreme chomping T Rex. It was another one. But that one's probably a little bit tricky to get. I don't know. There's also the Destroy and Devour and Dominus Rex. And then there's the Stomp and Chomp Spinosaurus, which is the most newly released toy that just came out from the Mattel and Jurassic World. But anyway, let's talk about this figure. I gotta say, this figure is very, very, very well done detailed. I really love how they put the, the black spots on her back and everything it looks really nice i really love how they did the eyes the eyes are like all yellow and stuff it looks really cool but the silliest thing is that with this figure the one that i got this one is sticking straight ahead and then this eye is sticking a little bit out you can't probably can't tell the difference now but trust me it is i really love how they did the uh the claws on her feet it looks really cool it looks really nice like that. It looks really highly detailed and stuff and everything. And I really love how they did her arms. Her arms are perfect too. And they look like human arms. They look like small human arms. That's what they look like. My One of my favorite things about this is that the inside of the mouth looks really good. Yeah. It can make noises. Yes, it can make noises. And... Look how nice the inside of the mouth looks. It looks really cool. Look at that. Really nice. Yeah. Okay, there's now here's the best part. The dino escape feature. Now, the dino escape is just this. You put a cage over its mouth. Now here's here's like the whole head cage that you, that they put on the dinosaur in the movie. And it goes like this. You put it on the head. Like this. Hold on. Yeah. You do it like that. Then you put this piece on the top. And then there it's on the head. And then you press this button right here to break it free. Like this. Hold on. Like that. Isn't that pretty cool? See, look, that's why the feature is called Dino Escape, because it escapes from this cage, this face cage thing. Wow, this thing is pretty cool. And is there anything else I can say about this? Uh, wow, there's a lot of things. Um, yeah, Dino Escape. Oh, yeah, I've also checked... Um. Oh yeah, there's gonna be some bad news with season four of Camp Cretaceous. There has been some rumors going on around saying that Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous season four, a Netflix original, will be coming out on December. And that's bad because it should not be taking that long just to come out. Man, we just got season three, what, like a month and a half ago. Season four is coming out at the end of this year. That's terrible, that's awful. But we don't know. Here's the thing. It has been confirmed that this happened. It has been confirmed that this is true. But the thing is, we don't know why this happened. There, it's been floating all around. It's been floating all around the internet saying that uh, season four will come out in December. It got delayed. We didn't even get a trailer yet. We didn't even get, yeah, we didn't even get a season four Camp Cretaceous trailer yet. We didn't get any teasers or anything. And we didn't get the trailer or nothing, and we already know. But it doesn't really matter too much. I mean, it matters a lot because that's a long time. But anyway, um, back to this. So yeah, if you don't know where the button is, um, oh yeah, there's there's one more thing that I gotta show you. You can also twist its tail. If you twist its tail like this. It does this. Yeah, it can move its feet. I really love how they did the colors. The colors are on point. They're really on point. They're perfect. They're really high detailed and everything. Um, right here, 
this code, I already scanned it in the app. I already did it. There's a little speaker thing, and then there's the um, the battery thing where you can change the batteries. There's little arms. The arms are really nice. <laughs> Small arms and big dinosaur. <laughs> um, wow, I love this toy. This is so cool. Oh, yeah, and there's going to be a little bit of bad news about, not, not the channel, but it's a little bit about me. Not my personal life or anything, but, yeah. This will be the last, like, this will probably be the last tour review of this month, I say, because I've been spending a lot of money on these things and I need to save up. So, I don't know when there's going to be another tour review. Probably going to be at least, like, a month later or so. So, in the meantime... I will not be buying any more of these because I'm trying to, you know, save up and stuff like that. But anyway, this is super cool. I would highly recommend you buy this. It's can do this. And then here's the world sounds that it can make. It makes this sound. Then it can, it can make this sound. And then it can make this sound. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video review, leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one, probably, I guess. Oh, yeah, and follow me on Twitter, I guess. And goodbye. Love you guys. Bye.